Hello everyone, welcome back to Gilly's Fishing. We're out today at Middleton Pier, as you can probably see with the background. Um, I've got Amelia, my daughter with me, Ashton, my son behind the camera. We're going to be, hopefully, try to catch some uh, flies today. So we've got squid, mussels, lug, bluey. and bluey. But any fish will do, we're just out fishing, enjoying ourselves. Mm -hmm. And she's going to be fishing, Ashton's going to be fishing. Hopefully we catch them, we've got two beach casters and one spinning rod. What I'll do is, when I bait up, I'll show you the baits I'm using and how I bait up because obviously it's still all fairly new to me, I've got my own ways as you all have as well. So we're going to give it a go and I'll show you all how I do it. It doesn't really matter how you do it to be honest with you, if you're catching fish, you're catching fish. But yeah, hopefully, let's catch some fish. Alright, well we've got the rod set up. We've got black lug on all of them at the minute. I've got one down the side for Amelia. Aren't we, Amelia? Are you doing a bit of LRF? Just drop lining down the side. She is on that rod. Yeah, they've been out about five, ten minutes. No nibbles yet. But it's a nice day. Yeah, last time I set out fishing last Saturday, I got to my next door neighbour's wall and something popped in my back. So I had to go back in. I couldn't come out, especially when I had Amelia with me. Can't leave a kid stranded on the pier, can we, Amelia? Because you'd have been stuck on the pier. My back had gone, wouldn't you? Yeah, so I decided to cancel it, got rid of my rag. See that there? What? There's a bite on that mud. Right. Well, just keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. It's down the side. It's Amelia's rod, but she's not watching it. She's camping out underneath the rod holder. <laughs> oh yeah, I cast out my um, 13 foot SK Dominator and nearly ended up snapping it. I put the reel on the other way so it's on for my right hand but usually I've got it on the left hand side, the reel. So when I cast it out I'd uh, move the reel up way too high on my rod and I levered it off the wall. Alright well, oh. Oh, it's come off, Amelia. <laughs> Amelia, you did have a blenny on. We'll get it down, we'll get you another. She did have a blenny on. Yeah, it's fell off. Yeah. We'll put it back down. Yeah. No, bring it over. It's scorpion. Push it down. That's out to be scorpion out of everything. Here we go, Amelia's first fish of the year. The year? Yeah, yeah. She's not caught one, is she? Has she? Scorpion fish. We'll put it over there. Amelia, you need to put this rod down. <laughs> ah! Come here, with your hands, come here. Don't be soft, it's only scarfing fish. Right, hands, yeah. just hold your hands. <laughs> right, there we go. Uh. Right, there we go, Amelia's fish. Oops. Amelia's first fish of the year. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta throw it back. Get up. Go on. Amelia, you need to give it some distance when you throw it. Alright, go on. Oh, there we go, that's it. There we go, it's in. Nice and safe. Alright, well, Amelia's had a first, well, the first fish out up to now, she's had a little scorpion fish. No, she did have a blenny on before, but it fell off. So, yeah, I wonder why it fell off. You're too slow. She nearly. I 
Yeah, so at least we're not blanking. Amelia saved the blank, aren't you, for the day? Yeah. Scorpion fish is still a fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's chuffed a bit now. She's winning. Right, well, we would have got this on film, but it took the rod really fast, so we had to get it. But well, Amelia's first rockling, isn't it? So yeah, we're gonna get it unhooked, and then obviously let Amelia hold it. I'll chuck it back, because the last one she nearly bounced off the rock. So yeah. That's bigger than my rockling that I caught the pilot, that Amelia. Oh, okay. The curiosity Why has it got kids. beard? Right, well there we go. Amelia's first ever rockling. I'm gonna let her hold it. Yeah? Cool. It's fine, it's fine. There we go. Right, I'm gonna chuck it back. <laughs> there we go. She's on two fish for the session now. What have you got? Can you remember the fish you've got? I've got to tell the, the camera. Scorpion fish and a rockling. Alright, well, I'm gonna get back, stick some more wog on this see if we get her anything else. But we've had no one on our road up to now. No. Not even a nibble have we? Nope. But we are about three, four hours before, no, three hours before high tide. We've been here for one hour now. Yeah, we've been here for about an hour. How's it going on? Really off? See if Ashton's got on his reeling his in. He's been getting bites for ages. Why don't you keep it above the rocks? Nope. No, nothing on it, Ash. Right, well. Better put some more bait on Anna. Well, we've been here about an hour and a half now. We've had two fish, a rockling and a scorpion fish. Got the jet skis about. Them two are just chilling. The wind's picked up quite a bit. Yeah, it's been nice, it's been dead relaxing to be honest with you. It's nice getting out of the house for a bit. It's nice getting out after four weeks and not being out fishing. <laughs> yeah, so if you do watch my videos, don't forget to give us a like subscribe leave us a comment if you want but yeah i was thinking about going to the beach today but i knew the wind was going to pick up so far i just went over the middle it's either that or the pilot but i went the pilot last time but i do want to get out i want to try the huff on the left hand side of the huff do a bit of float fishing 
see how that is but I've not managed to get out there yet hopefully in the next few weeks I'll get out and get over the hook test a few depths over the rocks on your left hand side as you're walking up throw a few floats out and see what's knocking about I'll probably end up losing some gear but you don't know unless you try it Badum? Nah I've lost half a rig the line snapped halfway up but yeah that's just on Amelia's rod because we're fishing down there near the rocks we've got a round round little um, weight on perfect usually it's supposed to just snap off and done it so they just come straight off if they get snagged but this time it snapped halfway up so it took um, one of the hooks as well but yeah like i say we're going to carry on fishing we've had two fish up to now but we'll have plenty more but we'll have a flatty this session as well ashton's had ashton's had one bite um, but obviously when he reeled it in there's nothing there so obviously I think it was just something just nibbling on it but I'm using 1-0 hooks as well on my rigs so I've got a 2 hook flapper rig on Ashton's and I've got a oh, what's sliding rig on mine I can never remember the names of them especially when I'm doing these videos I forget everything once I'm talking you probably realise I, I pause quite a bit in my videos but I'm getting better at it the view here is amazing as well. We're watching the boats coming in. But yeah, we're going to get back fishing. If we have anything, we'll bring it straight back. Oh, there we go. Ashton's got his first fish of the session. Skinny swan. There you go. It's a Ta-da! Oh, gosh. Hold it back so, so there's Ashton's first fish of the session. Come on, throw it back, Ashton. Oh, there we go, he's got it through, but that's three fish now, so. Scorpion. Bearded rocklin. And fly. Yeah, so I'm going to get his baited back up again, stick some black gorg on. Three fish on black gorg up to now, innit? Yes. Good. So far. Alright, well we're going to get back fishing. Alright, well it's quarter past three. And we've not had nothing for a while, not, had, not even had a bite. So it's gone very quiet. Sort for the quiet before the storm. Yeah, we got here about we got here about quarter past twelve, didn't we? So them two are just making up their own games now. But yeah, it's gone quiet. But to be honest with you, it's still. But well, I'd say that just had a bite on the rod in the middle. What? Right, well we're coming up to four o'clock, we've had the three fish up to now. Um, not having much in the range of like any bites or anything like that for the last 40 minutes. But yeah, still fishing, still giving it a go. Three still not bad, at least we're not blanking. But yeah, I've stuck some bluey on my rod. There's some um, black cork on Ashton's and black cork on Amelia's. Yeah, the wind's died down a bit as well. Oh, I think Ashton's got one. There you go. 
second flat fish of the day. But that one's got a bit of damage on it, hasn't it? Yeah. Look at that, it's got a big piece missing out of it. Has it? Yeah. yeah. Here. It's healed. But yeah. Alright, so Ashton's second flat fish of the session. Whew. You happy Ashton? Yay! Yeah, he's using, he's using a new rod. So he's chuffed a bit. So I'm going to get this unhooked and we're going to get it thrown back. It's a little fighter, it's already got damage on it. Alright, there we go. Ashton's second flatty of the session. He's well chuffed. Go on, you can chuck it back now, mate. There we go. It's just sinking. Yeah, swimmer. I think it's fucked. Alright, well, I reeled Amelia's rod in, and obviously, we didn't feel to see the bite or anything, proper grunting away, but a little scorpion fish. I caught a scorpion. Yeah. So she's on three fish, and Ashton's on two because it's her rod, Maybe. even though I reeled it in. Why what? But yeah, I'll chuck it back. There we go. So that's five fish for the session up to now. Right, well we're on five fish for the session. Obviously Ashton's had two flatties, Amelia's had two scorpions and a yeah, bearded rockling. Um, I've just done Amelia a nice little rig and I put it on a rod, cast it out with a three ounce weight on, which is holding as well. So I've stuck her on a two hook flapper but the hooks are only small that are on it. See so if you can get any diddy little um, flatfish in it. Yeah, she's not having any luck down the side now. We've caught six then, because Amelia's caught four. She's not caught four. We've caught five fish. Lovely. Yeah, just a five. Yeah, but we're going to keep fishing. There's two people on the end of the pier. There's plenty of boats knocking about. And it's spitting. So hopefully it doesn't start raining, but it's been spitting for a while now. Yeah, I'm the only one that caught a fish ever. No. I've reeled one in for Amelia because obviously the bearded rockling, she couldn't... Um, a bit scared of it, weren't you? <laughs> Anything bigger than a scorpion fish, I don't think she's going to be real in it. Right, well, this is our sit fish. Mm. Another flat here. Three, three. Are we going to count it as seven things fished out, Ash? No, no, it's not funny. As this little muppet dropped his phone, I'm not going to make the same mistake. Down there on the ledge, in the water, and luckily enough, the lad on the end of the pier, Josh. I think that's his name. I'm rubbish yeah, with names. I apologise if you're watching this and yeah, I got your name wrong. Has walked along the edge and grabbed it for him and it is still working. It's so his phone has been swimming. Congratulations on your third fish. We're going to put it back. Going to get it on up, yeah? 
I'm out of breath because I've just tried to hook his phone with one of my weights to get it on the side so Josh could get it with his net but we had no luck so he's gone and grabbed it and he is the luckiest lad around. Now we're going to have to pack up and go home so we need to put it in a bag of rice. Right, I'm going to do the outro and I'm going to get it over and done with because we're not strapping his phone in the sea. Right, we have to get going. So we've had six fish, we've had three flatfish, two scorpion and a rocklin. And thank you so much to Lucas. Not Josh. Who, not Josh, he's called Lucas. <laughs> who went in and grabbed his phone for him. I'm very much appreciated. He's walking up the pier now, I know him a lot. He's, a, he's really into his LRF. So all I can say is thank you and you as well, innit? He's fuming because he dropped his phone in. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of the video. Till next time, tight lines and tight hands. Keep hold of your phones.